Welcome to Easy Alim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at the topic Organic Chemistry 2 and our subtopic for today is naming of alkanols or alcohols. So when you are naming alkanols or alcohols, these are the rules that you usually follow. So we are going to follow each rule step by step as we see examples and work out examples together. So the first thing is to identify the longest carbon chain, and this is the one that contains hydroxyl group. So you remember when we were looking at alkenes and alkynes, we were talking about the one that has the double board. So we were looking at the one the double board or triple board has. So in this case, the OH is the main focus. So you look at the one that contains the OH. So for example, let's look at a few examples. So our, and we're going to give our parent name some names. So if you were to choose the parent name here, so this is not a carbon, this is a bond going to, so the carbon starts from here. So this is a carbon, this is a carbon, this is a carbon, this is a carbon, and this is a carbon as you can see. So if we choose the longest thing, it will be, can be one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. So we can just choose to choose this as the longest chain. So this longest chain is attached to an OH. This is now the, it's part of the structure and then we have a substituent CH3. So this chain has four carbons. So this would be uh, four carbons is going to be butanol. Another one is this, so let's calculate. So we have a carbon here, 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 and a carbon here, and a carbon here. So that will be the longest chain, and the longest chain will have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbon. So this is going to be heptanol. And then the next one is this, so uh, it's sort of similar to what we saw before, but now this is skeletal. So the longest chain can go this downwards or straight. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Either way, we can pick this as our longest chain. So it has four carbons. This is going to be a substituent. So it's going to be butanol. And then we also have this one. So our longest chain. You can see this carbon containing which must be part of it. So it can be one, two, or one, two, or one, two. So if you pick the easiest, which is the straight one. So the carbon chain has two carbons. So it's an ethanol. And then this one, it's automatically the inner one. It's very clear. So this has one, two, three, four carbons. So it's a butanol. And then finally, we have this. So you remember where the OH is? So this is going to be the longest chain. There's no branch. Don't forget. So this four butanol. It's very easy to think the OH is a branch. Remember, it's part of the main parent name. So after that, we number the longest chain uh, such that the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is attached has the lowest number. So let's now give it numbers. So in this case, we said this is a carbon, this is a carbon, this is a carbon and a carbon. So this was our longest chain. So when we are naming, we will give the OH the lowest number. So this has to be carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four. The rest of the substituents will have to follow the, the hydroxyl because the hydroxyl is preferred. So let's also number this uh, structure. So we have a carbon here, carbon, 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 carbon. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. So we can number from this side one, two, three, four to give the where the OH is attached carbon number four or one, two, three, four. Either way, it comes to carbon number four. So we can choose this side one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So let's look at also this example. So when we are numbering, we number from this carbon because it's one that has the hydroxyl group. So it becomes carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four. And then let's look at this one. So remember we said this is a parent name and we pick this one as carbon number one, carbon number two. These and these are branches. And then for our example here, the OH is in this carbon. So we will number from this side one, two, because if we number from this other side, it will be in carbon number three and we want to give it the least number. So it becomes one, two, three, and then four. And finally, uh, when we are numbering, remember where it is, it's in this carbon, so we need to name from this side. If we number from this side, it will be in carbon number three, but this side it will be in carbon number two. So one, two, three, four. So that's how you number. The OH is given a preference. So indicate the position of the hydroxyl group in the name after that. So now that we have gotten the position, this is in carbon number one. So this is uh, one, two, three, four. So this becomes buta. We show just like we are showing with the double board and triple board. So it becomes buta one, all. And then this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this becomes exan. Three all. And then this becomes one, two, it's the other way around. One, two, three, four. So it becomes butan one all. Remember, we're just writing the parent name, it's not a full name. And then we have this. So this is carbon number one, carbon number two. So it becomes. Uh, ethan one all and then we have this we number from this side one two three four so this becomes butan two all remember the rules in regards to numbers and hyphen you can go back and check those rules in alkene alkenes and alkynes and then this will be one two three four so it will be butan two all so locate the position of other substituent groups using the numbers that correspond to their position along the chain so now that we have already numbered this one this is one two so we have a methyl and a methyl so it's going to be two one one sorry one one di methyl butan butan one all next let's look at this one so we, this one is in carbon number three so and the chlorine is in carbon number eight as you can see so it becomes eight chloro eptan octan not eptan Octan uh, three all, and then this one you can see you start with carbon one, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a carbon here, carbon here, carbon here, carbon here, a carbon here, and a carbon here, and a carbon here. So we have a CH3 here and a CH3. One line that is what we present in CH3. So we have a CH3 at carbon number one. So it becomes one, carbon number five, and another one at carbon number five. So trimethyl. And it becomes trimethyl uh, eptan, eptan, one all. Then we have this, uh, so you start numbering from this side, one, two, three, four. So we have three methyl, butan, one all. 
then we have this we start numbering it remember this is where the carbon is attached so you number it as one two three four five so we have a methyl so we have two methyl uh, pentan two all finally this is going to be carbon number one carbon number two carbon number three carbon number four and carbon number five which is going to be four bromo bromo pentan to all final rule is if you have more than one oh you use the diet right tetra at the end so like this this is uh we have this carbon and this carbon so two carbons so it's an ethan but we have two oh one as carbon number one now two so it becomes one stroke two di all like we were doing with diene and diene and then we have this one so we have uh this is carbon number one number two number three number four number five so we have uh, two. So this is pentan, pentan. Uh, two, three, diol. Then we have this. So we start from this side. It's the lowest one, two, three, four, and five. So it's still a pentan. Two. Also three diol, and then this is going to be. We have done this before. It's going to be blue. Pan two all. That's just one. Finally, with three. This is three carbons, so it's going to be propan. One two three triol it's actually a glycerol we'll come to that later so that brings us to the end so i hope you've been able to see how to name alcohols or alkanons so see you in the next lesson as we look at isomerism